Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and this week something very strange is happening to me. I'm actually excited about a book that's coming out next week. What's so strange about that you might ask? Well, let me tell you. So far this year I have bought exactly zero books that came out in 2018. If you're at all familiar with me and my channel you'll know two things about me. One, most of the authors I enjoy are dead and therefore don't tend to release new books these days. And two, most of the books I buy are from charity and second-hand bookshops and it's incredibly rare to find something in those kinds of places that was released recently. Now I'd love to pretend that buying in charity shops is an exciting adventure for me, that I'm always looking for hidden gems and that I just love the feeling of giving an unloved book a new lease of life. But the truth is, I just can't afford to buy new books. If I had the money, I would. And this has been the case throughout my entire life, really. Back in Germany, in the place where I grew up, there was one charity shop in my hometown and uh, one antiquarian bookshop that sold like cheap misprints and damaged copies of books. And that's where I bought my books. Then for Christmas and my birthday, I'd usually get a gift card to the one proper bookshop in town. And that's where I occasionally got a new release or a new book. I rarely ever went to the library because childhood me was the most forgetful person. And I'd, when I tried, I'd usually end up with lots and lots of fines. I should also mention that um, book prices for new books in Germany are fixed by law and they tend to be a lot more expensive than they are here in the UK. Then I moved to Wales about four years ago and the town where I live now has about 10 charity shops on the high street all within walking distance from where I live, all of which carry a huge variety of secondhand books for very little money. I am spoiled here for secondhand book buying choices. I can go to the tiny local charity that sells three paperbacks for one pound but where you really have to go digging to find something that you like or I can go to the big Oxfam, which um, is a little bit more expensive and sometimes a book there costs as much as £2.50, but which has a great selection sorted by genre and author. And then there is the rare occasion like this one, where I'm spending a whole £10 on a book that's not even out yet, and I'll pre-order it on Amazon so I can get it in my letterbox on release day. And that feels like a real luxury. It's so exciting to be reading a book when everyone else is also reading it, but I can't help those weird feelings of guilt that tell me that for that amount of money I could have bought 10 books. And yes, I do feel like I'm missing out by not doing this all of the time. Watching other people's videos of you know, the most anticipated autumn releases or uh, watching big halls full of shiny new books. Yeah, it sucks not to be able to do that. But at the same time, I'm hopeful that at some point in the future, I too will be able to make a monthly trip to Waterstones and come back with an armful of actually new books. In the meantime though, I'll stick with my method and I want to make it very clear that I'm not judging anyone who can afford new books. I'm just a little bit jealous and that's fine because honestly, this is uh, very much a hashtag first world problem. I still get to read plenty of books that I love and I know that it is actually a sensible thing to do uh, to buy books secondhand because you're paying a tenth of the price for the same product. So I'm okay. And because I know people will mention this in the comments, here's a quick word about libraries. Libraries are a great way of getting newly released books, but my local library is pretty bad when it comes to their adult book selection. It's, um, I would say, about half the library is filled with children's books, and then um, out of their adult selection, about half of them are Welsh language, which unfortunately I don't speak. I do use libraries and borrow from friends quite frequently, but this video was meant to be specifically about owning books because there is something nice about owning a book, having it on your shelf. And there is something extra nice about owning a new book and having it on your shelf. 
So overall, buying new books does feel like a luxury to me, even though I know that for most people it's not. It's just an everyday occurrence. And that's fine. We all have different ways of prioritizing our spending. And I'm sure there's things that I spend more on than other people. Cats. But I do want to know what you think about the topic of buying new books. Does it feel special to you? Do you tend to get new releases from high street shops or online? Are you excited about any new releases this year? And are you going to pre-order Lethal White just like I did? Let me know in the comments. I'm interested to hear all of your opinions. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.